Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm Head of Brand Communications at Abnums. Um, I'm back again to make you another store cupboard cocktail uh, with ingredients that you'll typically have at home, but also with the products that you've been buying online at abnums.co.uk. So today's recipe is for a raspberry citrus fizz, a really nice, long, refreshing drink, but also a recipe that's completely flexible. You can change it not only to your tastes, but based on the ingredients that you will have at home. So what we do is to start off with, we obviously fill that drinking glass with ice, get that cooling down. I've also popped a few little raspberries in mine to make it look pretty. So we'll come back to that at the end. Now to start making it, what we do is for our mixing, in our mixing glass, we pop in, I've popped in some frozen raspberries here. They've defrosted a little bit now, so they've got nice and juicy. Um, and then what we need to do is pick our citrus. So you can either use lemon or you can use lime. I've chosen lime because I have plenty of those in my fruit bowl. Um, and we just juice half of that into the glass with the raspberries. Give it a nice citrus kick. Um, and then just to kind of balance that sharpness of those kind of raspberries and that lime, we're just gonna add a little bit of sugar syrup. Now, I have some in my cupboard already pre-made, but this is really easy to make. Um, basically, you just need to dissolve some sugar within some water over a very low heat um, until you can no longer see the kind of sugar granules. Um, you don't need to boil it up, we're not making caramel, but it's just kind of like a clear liquid here that's kind of nice and syrupy. So that's the kind of consistency you'll look for if you're making it yourself. Um, so on top of that, we obviously have to put in our alcohol. So today I'm going to be using Abnum's first rate gin, maybe 13 different botanicals, really lovely gin, but it would also work great with our kind of core copper house gin um, and also vodka as well. So you could make it with our Abnum's Longshore vodka or East Coast vodka if you've purchased that as well. So just to measure out, 50 milliliters there. Pop that in. And then what we want to do is then muddle this all together so we can combine all those flavors. It's really nice fruity mix. looks delicious. I obviously have a muddler here, but if you don't have one of those to hand, the end of a, a rolling pin or any kind of utensil that you might have in the kitchen, as long as you can just get in there and crush all those raspberries up. So once you've got your mix, what we want to do is to add it to our glass. Um, and the best thing to do here is use a strainer so you don't get too many big chunks, but also maybe a little sieve if you've got one and that will stop all the pips going into your drink. Look at that. Give it a little bit of a tap. Still got plenty in there. You don't have to strain it if you don't want to, but it's just sometimes for a slightly lighter drink. So yeah, you look at that lovely, bright pink liquid there. So once you get to this stage, what we want to do is then we just want to pick your mixer. So if you're a typical gin and tonic person, you might have lots of tonic in the house. So you can take an Adnams tonic and top that up. Um, you may be feeling a little bit fancy and want to add in a little bit of bubbles. So you can add Prosecco to this recipe. Um, or I've just got a lemonade here that's already open in the fridge. So again, this is very much about using what you have available. And then you just pour that in. So we've got a lovely gradient on that drink there. And obviously the best part of a cocktail is sometimes it's garnish. So what you could either pop in a lemon or lime wedge in there. I've just cut myself two lovely little spikes of lemon or lime peel um, and saved a couple of raspberries to pop in there as well. So there you go, a raspberry citrus fizz.